Now let's see if I can use my various tools to get this body of water uh, back where it needs to be. You can see it's completely, um, the water is too high for that ship. And again, I'm basing everything around the placement of the ship. And I could tell from this view that my water plane is completely tilted. So one of the things I could do is rotate that water plane in this view, in the side view, until it's parallel with the boat. That's pretty interesting. And then I can lower it also in the side view. And look at that. I got the water right underneath the uh, windows on the water line of the ship. That's pretty cool. And as I zoom around now, I can see that I have the ship exactly where I want it, sitting in the water with a slight bit of transparency on it. I'm very happy with that placement. All right, that's nice there. For right now, the, I'm going to bring in the island, and I'm going to click on the island, and I could just pick it up and place it anywhere I want to. Maybe it's a little bit big. Maybe it's a little bit tilted. And what happens in 3D space is that it may look good from one angle, but as we've seen, it might be completely wrong uh, when you look at it uh, from all different angles. So let me see. Well, that actually looks pretty good. It seems to be sitting right on the water. Hit reset, so I've got that in my scene right where I want it. And now the sky is, I'm going to click on it here, and it appears to me that the sky is in front of that island, so I'm going to really need to push that sky backwards. Let's take another look with the uh, stage view and the free rotate tool. I have the sky right in back of the ship, and I'm not even seeing the island right now. So let's see where I can find the island. It appears that the island and the sky are on the exact same plane. So that's the reason why I was not able to see the island. So I'm going to move the sky backwards along the z-axis, which is the front to back axis. If I look at it in the top view, I can see the line that represents the sky. And I can push it back with this arrow push the sky backwards. The sky is this one. All right. And but I'm going to come over here, see how far back I can push it without it messing up the scene. Right about there. Otherwise, I start seeing where my drawing stopped. And if I need to, I can also transform that sky by making it bigger. And that is a great looking scene. I'm very happy with that. I could draw clouds. I could draw all sorts of other things if I wanted to. And now let's look at it in the camera view. This is what the camera is going to see. It's a shot like this. I can, if I get rid of the camera mask, then you'll be able to see a little bit better. I'll have uh, the opportunity to change the camera as we get into the camera chapter.